And they didn't just shut down Derrick Henry. Ryan Tannehill had a pretty decent outing last year against Buffalo, mainly in part due to the fact that Derrick Henry had a great day, set up the play action. Ryan Tannehill had a much easier system to work out of with Derrick Henry having the game that he did. But with their ability to shut down Derrick Henry, it shuts down everything for this Tennessee offense, especially with the lack of weapons that they currently have right now. Ryan Tannehill, you thought Derrick Henry had a career low game, a terrible game. Ryan Tannehill, so bad he gets benched for the rookie. And it makes you wonder, you know, the last time the Bills played the Titans, uh, when Ryan Tannehill was not the quarterback, it was Marcus Mariota. That was his last start as a Tennessee Titan. The Bills are known to have performances in which the quarterback winds up taking a seat. Now, I'm not saying Ryan Tannehill doesn't see the field again. I assume he does. They're not going to put the whole franchise in the hands of Malik Willis quite yet. But last night shows you what a quarterback like Ryan Tannehill is when the system isn't working to perfection in the way he needs it to operate in order to be successful. When Derrick Henry is down and out, this offense shuts down and the bills took away their most key asset, the run game. It completely dismantled Ryan Tannehill's ability to do anything. And he was benched in the third quarter in a game that they were losing. I mean, this isn't preseason. You don't, you don't, you understand how, Mind-blowing, that is. Ryan Tannehill takes a seat in this game. Case Keenum is playing quarterback for the Bills on offense in the third quarter. It is week two, prime time on ESPN. I mean, are you kidding? Are you kidding? It, it, it's, it's insane. It is insanity. Ryan Tannehill was 11 of 20 for 117 yards. It's tied for the second lowest amount of completions he's had in a single game since 2015. Tied for the second fewest yards he's had in a single game since 2018. And he had a 32.7 passer rating. You ready for this? It was the worst single game passer rating of his entire career. His entire career. So you go out on this field against the Bills and your two most key assets on offense have quite literally one of the worst, worst outings they have ever had in the National Football League. And it's not because they both decided to take the night off. It is just a true testament as to how unbelievably dominant this Bills defense is. And it starts with the revamped D-line. 